we now move to the uh, capital requirement section and uh, it's that we are seeing the market risk part so just as a quick revision we know that uh, the uh, uh, the models that we use are standard measurement and internal model approach or standardized method or internal models which is which are again divided into two forms the basic and advanced so uh, uh, the standardized approach determines the capital charge associated with various market risk and these uh, market risk uh, include uh, equity risk interest risk uh, foreign exchange risk commodity risk option risk and uh, the market risk capital for each market risk is computed as 8% of uh, its market risk asset. The max total uh, risk charge can be found by summing the capital charge. Since the market risk uh, from the standardized matter is simply sum of all markets, the diversification effect is ignored. The inability to recognize the affair and method has caused many banks to use the uh, internal models. We move to the IMA. The IMA approach allows banks to use its own risk system to determine its market risk capital. Banks are motivated to use this since it will reduce lower risk charge. In order to bank must justify capital requirements set forth by regulators. So these requirements uh, that are set by the regulators are internal oversight, back testing, stress testing, and setting exposure limits. After requirements are satisfied, market risk charge can be computed. The market risk charge is set of is set in one of the two ways. It's higher of the previous day or, or average of last 60 business days adjusted by a multiplicative factor to a floor of 3. If R is continually underestimated, a penalizing factor called plus factor is added to this multiplier. The multiplying factor adds to penalty for exceptions are shortly discussed. So market capital charge the, uh, this approach is thus the average of R times uh, a multiplicative factor plus a specific risk charge that covered idiosyncratic market risk. So back testing here becomes very important, and let's talk about back testing. And uh, if an institution using a VAR approach to model its market risk, that model must be back tested. The bank must back test daily results where the daily change uh, is exposed as compared to previous days VAR. If a daily uh, change value exceeded the VAR of previous day, an exception has to be on court. For first uh, period, there would be 250 days that are tested. The result of the back test that I described are related are cumulative total exceptions which are provided for 250 days testing period. And based on the number of exceptions, the bank's exposure is categorized into uh, three zones and ward is scaled up by the appropriate factors. So green zone consists of 0 to 4, yellow zone uh, consists of 5 to 4 to 5, and the increase in multiplier also comes into play from 5 to 9 in the yellow zone. And the red zone is greater than 1 when the multiplying factor is increased by 1. So these plus factor added to the multiplier with the floor of 3 and uh, so uh, if R exceed uh, 10 times over the multiplier fraction becomes uh, 4. So the bank's model consists of generate high number of exceptions the bank must use the model and adjust as it's needed. So that was about the uh, market risk uh, work by Basil Doms and with special focus on the internal rating method.